Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, April the 12th. It's Wednesday and Holy Week. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 55, Jeremiah 17, verse 5 through 10 and 14 through 17. Now please join me in singing the first verse of Sing My Tongue. Sing my tongue the glorious battle of the mighty conflict sing. Tell the triumph of the victim to his cross thy tribute bring. Jesus Christ, the world's redeemer, from that cross now reigns as King. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my plea. Psalm 55, and please recite it with me. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my plea. Attend to me and hear me while I complain and answer me. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in anger they hate me. My heart is sore within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest, that I would wander afar and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the raging winds and the storm. Destroy them, O God, and confuse their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen go about its walls, but violence and sorrow are in her midst. Wickedness is everywhere in the city. Her streets are never free of deceit and corruption. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. If it had been, then I could have borne it. Neither was it someone that hated me and boasted of himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was you, my intimate friend, my guide and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together. We walked together in the house of God. Let death seize them, and let them go down quickly into hell, for wickedness is among them and in their dwellings. As for me, I will call upon you, my God, and you will save me. Evening, morning, and noon I pray and cry aloud, and you shall hear my voice. You have delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were too many against me. You, O God, enthroned of old, shall hear and afflict them, for they never change, and they do not fear you. My companion raised his hand against me, and has broken our pact. With words smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Most High, and God shall sustain you. God will never let the righteous stumble. For you, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. The bloodthirsty and deceitful shall not live out half their days, and I will trust in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my plea. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Chapter 17, beginning at verse 5. Thus said Yahweh, Cursed is he who trusts in man, who makes mere flesh his strength, and turns his thoughts away from the Most High. He shall be like a bush in the desert, which does not sense the coming of good. It is set in the scorched places of the wilderness, in a barren land without inhabitant, Blessed is he who trusts in the Most High, whose trust is the Most High alone. 
He shall be like a tree planted by waters, sending forth its roots by a stream. It does not sense the coming of heat. Its leaves are ever fresh. It has no care in a year of drought. It does not cease to yield fruit. Most devious is the heart. It is perverse. Who can fathom it? The Most High, I, the Most High, probe the heart. Search the mind to repay every man according to his ways with the proper fruit of his deeds. Heal me, O Most High, and let me be healed. Save me and let me be saved, for you are my glory. See, they say to me, where is the prediction of the Most High? Let it come to pass. But I have not evaded being a shepherd in your service, nor have I longed for the fatal day. You know the utterances of my lips. They were ever before you. Do not be a cause of dismay to me. You are my refuge in a day of calamity. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God Most High, accept our burdens and let us never stumble. Be our peace and still our trembling hearts and sustain us always as we place our trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. 